You're sitting at a restaurant with a friend. It's a very busy place. It's full of people. There's music playing in the background. It's noisy. You can barely hear each other. And your phone rings. And when you answer, all the sound around you goes away. The person on the other side can hear you clearly, and you can hear him clearly too. Second scenario. Same restaurant, same friend. A couple of tables down, something happens that calls your attention, and you want to know what's happening. So you focus your hearing, you zoom in to hear what they are saying. And you can hear them just as if they are next to you at your table. The third scenario is a follow-up to the second one. Later that night, with your friend, you get into an argument as to what happened back earlier on at that other table. And so in order to clarify things, you decide to rewind and listen to that conversation again. These three scenarios show capabilities that we do not have naturally. We are not able to rewind time. We do have memory, but it has its limitations. Nor can we focus on things that are far away. And with the aid of technology, we sort of can do those things, but not yet at the level at which I not as naturally as I uh, presented them earlier. Yet, very soon, that will be something that we will live with and we will be able to do just as I presented. I'll start by telling you about headphones and how they have evolved and how they may lead to be able to do that and how that will affect our lives. Headphones, when we hear that word, we think of two speakers next to our ears, perhaps a microphone and some controls to be able to take the call, play, pause, change the volume, or something like that. Yet, since mobile devices became so popular, so did headphones. The, the growth in usage of headphones, both in the number of people that use them and also the number of hours, the amount of time that we have headphones on our heads, grew dramatically. It's insane how much. It's almost as if headphones started like eight years ago. And so, the main focus for uh, brands in the development of headphones has been that of making them more comfortable. There's this concept of being able to wear these devices always, the always-on device. And the always-on device is one that shouldn't get in the way. So cables went away, or they're going away. And size is shrinking. If, if we were to think of the ideal device, of the one that we would like to wear, not the current version of them, it would be one, it's, it's a device that it's not there. It would be perhaps an implant or something that doesn't get in the way that we don't need to stick in our ear, yet it can do all the things that we currently do with them. And that has been the focus of the development of these devices. With every iteration, they are getting smaller and smaller and less in the way and more comfortable. Now, there's still one flaw, which is we need to stick them in our ear for a reason. And that's because if we're listening to music and we're walking down the street and there's traffic, what happens is that the traffic will be on top of our music, and we don't like that. And so there are two ways to, to fix this thing, and one is to cancel, to, to block the sounds from outside with material. So we put something in our ear that's going to block what's coming out, and we can hear what's coming out of our headphones, or we do active noise cancellation, which means we place microphones, several microphones around our headsets, such that they measure, they can take input from all around us and decide which input is what we want and which is not. And so some headphones these days, they use those microphones to pick up our voice clearly and to block the other sound, so that when we have a phone call, they actually, the, the, our voice goes clearly through the, through the wire and, um, and the rest of the sounds get blocked. Other environmental var variables, they are, for example, sweat or water. And um, we like to work out, some of us, to, to we go exercise, and water is a problem, and so if we want to wear them all the time, once again, they have become water resistant. Aside from those features, from everything that goes, that, that all the developments that are about wearing them all the time, there are two important features that I would like to point out. One is voice assistants. I don't think they're working yet. 
people, I don't like them. I barely use the voice assistant. I have several smart things in my home, and I try to use them, but it's not great. I have to repeat several times what the, the, the command. And one of the reasons is, I believe, that there's no easy way to talk to our assistants. Once headphones have that ability, which they already do, some of them, then it's, it will be a lot easier for them to understand us once, uh, if they're able to block the sounds around and to clearly get our voice. The second important feature, we have devices in our head. We have headphones that we're wearing. And it's the only device that is able to figure out where our head is, what we're looking at. And that's a development that it started very recently, which some headphones now have, ways to, to know in which direction you're looking and how your head moves. And the importance of that is that you could have a simulate a physical object in front of you that doesn't move as you move your head. Currently, when you have headphones, you listen to music, and as you rotate your head, things rotate with your head. When you have head tracking, you're able to send that information to the music player or to whatever it is that you're listening, and you're able to recreate a virtual world around you. The implications of that, they're big. There are many issues we can think about, all of the things I'm talking about, but I'm going to just ignore those for now. What I will talk about is how all of these things are affecting our lives. And when I walk out of my house and I get to the street, the first thing I see is somebody with headphones looking down at the screen. That's the most common view of a person at this point when I think of somebody. Or I get to work and they're sitting on their laptop with their headphones. And at least for me, I don't feel like going and talking to them. It's a problem. I, I, it's changing the way we interact. It's changing the way we live our lives. And I don't think the word better, because when I want to ask somebody something, I need to bother them. I don't know if they're listening to a podcast, their favorite song or something, and it, it, it's like they need to take this thing off their ear and like, what? So there's no question that, it's, that we are being changed by, changed by having these devices on us. I see it as having two worlds. One world is the physical world, what we're living here, you guys, right now. The other world that we live in is all the information that we're feeding our ears. We're deciding to block our physical world. We're like, I don't care. Like, I learned when I was little that if something falls and breaks, I hear a sound, but I don't care anymore. Because I'm going to block my ears and put my favorite music. I'll have my soundtrack of my life all the time because I prefer that over my physical world. So we have these two worlds at the same time, feeding stuff to our brain. And w the way I see it is that we're not here, we're not in this world, not in that other world. I see another alternative, and that is to use technology to enhance our world, to have a single world in which we have these devices augmenting what we see around us. They have the capabilities of placing, as I said, sounds anywhere around our space. And there's a lot of information. They're connected to our phones. They're connected to the whole world. And instead of taking out our phone and typing things to find what a building is, or what a statue is, or what anything around us is, it could be as simple as connecting these devices to the world. And they will tell us what's going on. They will enhance our world. And the way I like to see it is that there's a little ferry next to us telling us the wonders of the world, telling us how nice things and how connected we are to things around us, as opposed to blocking things and trying to be safe in this world where perhaps it's less boring when we hear our, fa our favorite song. Perhaps uh, we feel more um, protected, yet we're, we're not living anymore in this world. I, I like to end uh, the talk by saying that It's not, it's not that there's a line in the future in which we will get to decide whether we go the right or the wrong way. There's no point down the road which we will decide that it's time to correct things. 
we're already deciding it. We're already deciding to go the safe way, the way of going with this music. There's no AI that will take over us. We're very afraid of all this technology that's kind of going to screw us up down the road, these robots that will take over our world. It's not about that. We're already choosing it. We're already going that direction. And if we keep going this direction, we are taking over our own world. We're deciding that that's the way we want and that that's the way it will go. So all I want to say is that it's important to be mindful as to how we use technology because technology will take over our lives as much as we decide that it takes over our lives. Thank you.